Hi guys, here's your first video pottery tutorial. First you want to get some paper that's 28 by 15 centimetres. Okay, here's the basic equipment you will need. Uh, if you've not got a rolling pin, you could use a bottle. And then your rolling guides. These could be some lats, it could be magazines stacked up. Uh, something like a tomato tin can, bean can and your template. Credit cards are great for using as rubber kidneys and you can cut one down as a joining tool and then just a simple brush. Wrap your can in some paper quite loosely because you're going to pull the can out of the paper at the end. So just wrap it round, a little bit of masking tape to secure it and then put that to one side. You can use all kinds of things for textures, you can use lace, you could use wallpaper, you could take leaves from the garden, they make really lovely textures. So when you're rolling out the clay, nice and even on, on your uh, tea towel, rolling over the, your rolling lats to get an even thickness. Keep turning the clay so it doesn't stick, then just trim it down at the ends. Eventually the rolling pin should just easily roll across your clay. Then you can use a credit card just to smooth off the top side of the clay where you're going to imprint your pattern. I've chosen this simple wallpaper that I've scalloped the edge. I'm just going to lay that down onto the clay, pressing it smoothly. So using your rolling guides, put your texture down onto the clay and roll over it. Then put your template over the texture, trying not to crush your texture as you ease the paper down and then trim around the edges. Take the excess clay and screw it up into a ball so it doesn't dry out because you'll be using that later. And then here I'm just doing a little scalloped edge on the end of my clay. You can see it there. Then roll the excess clay out, this is going to be for your base, same way you rolled out the clay before. Smooth it over with a credit card, then place the tin can and make an impression. We're going to cut a little bit bigger than the can to give us some allowance. So cut round your circle and this is going to be used for your base. Okay, now time to take your texture off and then you're going to flip that over. Again, try not to crush your texture as you flip it over and then you're going to bring your wrapped up can to the clay and wrap the clay around the can, trying carefully not to crush the texture. You're going to score where the overlap goes around the can on both sides and then we're going to make some slip just from a little bit of excess clay and a wet brush. Just rub around inside the little thumb pot and you'll create your own little bit of slip. This then can be used to join the two pieces of clay together. So this is an overlap join. It's one of the easiest ways to join two pieces of clay together. As you get more competent, I'll show you how to do uh, a butt joint. Okay, so we're going to do the base next. So take the can out of the form, leaving the paper. Then just slot your form over the base. Pull out the paper. And then what you need to do is scratch and slip the edges of the two things that are joining again. So the base to the base of the vase. Scratch it and slip it with some of the slip that you've made and slot the vase over the base. Just press inside with something like the end of a paintbrush just to join those edges together. And then you can take a tool, a knife, and just push those edges down a little bit without spoiling your texture. I'm just using the end of a, a felt tip pen here just to add some texture to that join. It also pushes that join together. And then last thing, clean up with a sponge. Et voila, here it is, your finished 
wrap around pot. Here's some other examples of the sorts of things you can make. <laughs>